y'all welcome back to what I'm on today today I'm gonna be doing a tag I'm like super late for this tag but I loved it I've seen it so many times and I thought that I would do my rendition of it and these are the five bags that were love at first sight so stay tuned remind me of 12th grade remind me of young shade feel like a new shoe remind me of old games taste like an ice cold taste like a mango feel like some new socks taste like an angel she look like a badu Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags, both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. So I have been loving this bag tag of uh, your five bags that were love at first sight. For me, I am not going to lie. I probably have more than five bags, but I'm going to show you at least five and then some additional little nuggets because why not? The first bag has to be one of my newer bags um, that I recently purchased. And you guys heard me talk about this in a previous video. But this is the Rogue 39. Um, and this is the Mint and Surf collaboration with Coach. I have wanted something from this collection for the longest time. I was not sure if I was going to get the um, Bandit or the Rogue 39. As you can see, I went with the Rogue 39, but I really love this. Like, I was showing my husband, like, at the beginning when this first came out, and he's like, mm-mm, no, I'm not feeling it. Um, I finally purchased it after, like, almost a year, and I got it home, and he's like, oh, it's actually pretty cool now. So, this is one of my bags that was just absolutely love at first sight. I just love this whole motif, this print. The second bag is one that I wear a ton during this time of year, but this is the Chanel 19. Um, I do not remember exactly like what this whole motif is called. I will put it down below. It's been a while since I purchased this bag, but I remember seeing this online and being like, oh, this is so beautiful. And this is when, guys, if you've been following me for a long time, you know that I was like Chanel obsessed. I was buying Chanel's like multiple times a year and I was just obsessed. And when I went into Chanel and I saw this, and if you guys are Chanel lovers, you know that a lot of times you see things on the Chanel site that never end up at your store. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, my gosh, something that I have seen on the site that I put on my wish list, not ever thinking that I was going to ever be able to see it in person. And it was in the store. And I literally, obviously picked it up that day. And I have not had any regrets since. I have a video on this talking about just the material and things of that nature. And I probably would not buy anything in this type of wool again. But that's neither here nor there. This is still love at first sight. I still love this bag. Every day I look at her, she's gorgeous. My coach um, rogue, and this is in the, I think they're called the coaches. Um, I cannot remember his name. I will put it down below if I can remember. But this was definitely love at first sight. My essay, Brandon, like showed me this before they were coming out and I was literally on my way to Europe and I was like, listen, Brandon, I got bag money for Europe. I don't got bag money for the United States. <laughs> and literally the next day, I'm like, Brandon, if you don't mail me that bag, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I love this bag. It was the cutest, quirkiest thing ever and um I would consider it to be love at first sight and I still love it like it's one of those bags that I love looking at and I get a lot of compliments on the bag as well and I'm super excited that I was able to get it before it sold out. Since we're talking about rogues because apparently three out of the four so far I'm already going to go beyond five let's just start there um are rogues but my rogue with the recycled handles thanks to agents bag reviews saw this on her channel literally the day after i saw it on her channel she mentioned who her essay is which is now my essay uh brandon and i reached out to him and said can you get me this bag and i have adored this bag ever since it is one of my favorite rogues hands down 
This is my Karl Lagerfeld bag. Um, I wanted this colorway so badly. I really wanted to get the Chanel 19 that was in this kind of pattern. And so that was on my wish list and I was going back and forth because you know, it's expensive. And my husband and I were in the outlet mall one day and I went into Karl Lagerfeld and this baby was just sitting there being beautiful, being herself. Um, and then she had the audacity to be on sale. So I paid less than $200 for this bag beautiful leather bag in the exact same colorway um, that I wanted and like this is like one of my favorite bags in my collection. I love the way it looks. It is exactly what I want. Every day I look at it I'm like so excited that I was able to get my hands on this. So love at first sight from like the pattern in Chanel to being able to see it in person and get this beautiful Karl Lagerfeld rendition of the bag. You guys already know if you've seen my video um, unboxing this or talking about this, this was love at first sight. I went in the coach store to pick up my ombre pillow tabby in that smaller size and which is a size 18 I believe and my essay is like hey look we got some things that are going to be coming out and this was one of the things and I mean I could not say no. I did not plan on buying this bag especially full price. It was like 800 bucks but I have not regretted it ever since and I have this amazing strap to go with it. I mean this is one of the most just pretty in pink bags that I have in my collection so I loved it then. I love it now. And the last bag that I will feature, I have no clue what number I'm at at this point, but the last bag I will feature is my Louis Vuitton Alma PM in the Totem Collection. This is one of the bags that I had not seen ever before until I saw it on Fashion File. This came out in, I want to say, 2011 or 2015 um, way before I was even into like luxury at all and um, when I saw this online on their site I did so much research on this collection I saw that it came in hot pink and purple and this bag they had like a Alma BB at the time two Alma BBs one in this colorway uh, which is the purple and then the other one in the hot pink colorway which looks very similar to this except it's hot pink and um, I was just really fixated on this p.m. and they had one p.m. and I was stalking this bag I don't even remember if I waited for it to go on sale because you know with Fashion File after it's been on there for like 30 days it'll go like 5% off or maybe it did go 5% off I don't remember but I'm like husband I need to get this bag and I'm so happy that I did. This is like one of the like rare pieces um, in my collection that I love and I get so many compliments on and I'm so happy that I just did not let this nugget get away. Guys, I am sure there are more. As I'm looking at my collection now, there are more. But this video has to end somewhere, okay? I feel like a lot of my bags are like love at first sight bags. Like I just love them and I still love looking at them now. But these are kind of like by far like my favorite, favorite ones. And I feel like a lot of the bags that are in my collection, I've kind of like low-key pined over. Like I wanted them for like months or, you know, sometimes weeks or days. But you know, some of them I've wanted for a really long time. So I'm super excited that they are in my collection. I am tagging anyone who wants to do this video because I definitely want to see the five bags or more that are in your collection that are just love at first sight. You loved them then and you still love them now. If you are not, um, new to this channel thank you so much for stopping by again for yet another video with me if you are new welcome do not forget to um subscribe like and hit that notification bell i am making videos every saturday at one 
Um, I'm really going to be trying in 2023 to be making some during the week as well. I have so many ideas and fun things in my mind and I have to get them out. So um, hopefully I'll be making two a week starting next year. Um, but as of now, we're doing one a week Saturday at one. Thank you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.